All right, so this ticket is $145. And then we'll circle back and see if we can catch that other car, too. Oh, people attack you. Oh, shoot, this is lit. I need a, a unit. I'm getting beat up. This guy's pissed. I gave him a ticket and he's chasing me right now, bro. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Grand Photo 5 LSPDFR mod episode. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new plugin called Basic Parking Enforcement. This plugin lets us check vehicles to see if they have the proper parking permits, as well as write tickets if they do not. So we can ticket vehicles that are parked in no parking zones, such as if they're in any of these areas with the red curbs, or if they're parked on a hydrant, or if they're in a parking lot without a permit, we can check and then ticket them. Now, I'm going to take it a step further further and actually tow some vehicles as well so we're going to be working for the Los Santos Police Department we are in their parking enforcement unit so we are not a uh, police officer but we are a traffic officer now we do have this awesome tow truck which we will be using it is a Ford F450 and uh, yeah it's pretty cool it also has the working wheel lift which lowers down at the back so I figured this will be a fun vehicle to use for today's episode so without any further ado let's go ahead and get this one started so I figured we'll uh, kind of patrol up here in northern Los Santos up here in Vinewood there's a lot of parking lots there's one right across the street over there as well as a lot of parking uh, zones and stuff like that that uh, we are going to be enforcing so uh, yeah let's go ahead and start our shift let's see what we come across so that parking lot we just passed by we can go in there and check vehicles too and see if they have the proper permits before I do that I just want to drive around and see if there's anybody on the street that are in any of the no parking zones or blocking a hydrant or anything like that let's take a look at the inside of the truck very beautiful truck we have our computer here on our side very cool okay so so far there hasn't been many vehicles on the street we do have a parking lot over here so let's check and see if these vehicles have the proper permits to be parked here you guys ever see in real life when they tell somebody like as soon as they parked i'll be so messed up if we did that all right, let's check this vehicle over here. So what we're going to do is press F5. We're going to check if the vehicle has a valid parking ticket. And they do. So they're valid for 5 hours and 47 minutes. Okay, so they're good. Uh, we'll leave it alone. Other things we can do is check their parking history. Oh, I'm too far away. So we can also check their parking history. Oh, they got a lot of tickets in the past on this license plate. Wow. Um, we can also see their current parking zone, which is Power Street, and we can even go ahead and uh, edit if a ticket is required here or not by editing our zone. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, let's check out the rest of these vehicles. Let's see. This person over here just pulled up. Let's see if they have the valid parking information. And they are valid for 23 minutes. Okay. We may come back in 23 minutes if they're still parked here. We're going to tow them. Let's check uh, this van over here. All right. So far, everybody's good. Uh-oh. This guy has been expired for 10 hours. Okay. So uh, he's going to be our first victim of the day. Yeah, I decided to just change the weather just because my truck was just so bright. I felt like you guys could even see it. All right, let's put down the wheel lift. Perfect. And let's back it on up.
Now this wheel lift is pretty cool since it actually does have a collision so we can lift it up. Now I'm not hooked on it with my hook though so we, we're not going to be able to actually grab it. Let me see if I can get my hook on it. Okay, we got it. Hook is on. It's kind of on the wheel lift. It's kind of glitched, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and tow this thing out of here. Turn on our lights. Now we're going to be taking this. We don't really have an impound lot up here, but we'll take it to another parking lot, which is near the police station. What the? I think I'm going to try to edit the weight of this vehicle because it is squatting. This F-450 should not be squatting so much on this van. It's like half on the lift, half off right now. <laughs> Alright, maybe we should try to fix it. Or you know what I think I'm going to do? Let's grab it from the front. Oh, you know, one thing I forgot to do, we can also ticket the car, too. So we don't have to tow them. We could just leave them a ticket. But I figured it'll be more fun to tow them. Okay, so once we get to the station where we drop this off, we're going to have to remember to actually put a ticket on this thing, too. Okay, we got our first victim. We're gonna take them into this parking lot over here. Now there's an impound lot at the Davis station, but it's kind of far. And honestly, I kind of wanted to patrol this area up here, so I decided to use this area instead. Alright, so we towed it to the lot. Let me make sure we remember to put a ticket on it. And uh, they're going to have to pay the fine and then pick it up over here. So they're going to be a expired ticket. 30 bucks. And we'll go ahead and submit that. Perfect. So on top of paying that $30, they're going to also have to uh, pay, I guess, to come pick up their vehicle from this lot, too. Now, realistically, we didn't have to tow it, but I just kind of wanted to combine towing with parking enforcement. Now, what I really want to do today, guys, is find a vehicle that's parked on a hydrant. So let's go look for one now. Now another cool thing would be like if there would be like a um, ALPR system that is just for parking enforcement. So I know some places use them, they have like special, uh, not really special, they just use like a sedan or something to drive around and scan vehicles. And it just helps them know if their information is paid or not. 
But that's normally with cities that have more updated or advanced systems where you could like use an app to pay for your parking and then they can just scan your plate and tell if you use the app or not, which is pretty cool. Alright, uh, let's see, where should we go next? Okay, let's check this van parked here. Make sure they have the proper stuff here. Make sure they paid that meter. Oh, no parking ticket found. They didn't pay the meter. So for this one, we're just going to give them a ticket. Uh, violation is going to be, again, no ticket present. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, let's just look at everything. So if they're within 15 feet of a hydrant, that's another $105. They're good. Parked in a crosswalk more money okay 20 feet of an intersection 50 feet of a rail crossing or under 18 inches from a right hand curve okay cool um other parking violations preservative zone fire lane bus lane this is so cool there's so many options parked in a handicapped zone 500 oh, that's good i see a blue line here are these handicapped zones or is this regular parking i'm not sure Wait, did I give him the ticket? I don't think I gave him the ticket, did I? Let me go give him the ticket before we forget. Alright, so the violation was no ticket present. Uh, let's go ahead and submit. Alright, perfect. Another ticket down. Let's see who else we can find. I think I see another victim. Oh look, no parking here. I think we see another victim, guys. We got somebody parked in a no parking zone. <laughs> we got me running through a red light about to cause an accident. My bad, lady. All right, look at what we have here. Uh, oh shoot! No 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 no! no. Almost broken. I pressed the wrong button. All right, let's see if they have a valid parking. So they do have a valid parking ticket, but the problem is this is a no parking zone, so they're they're not even supposed to have a ticket here anyway. So we are going to let's check their history. They have one ticket for two hundred and five dollars for parked on a lawn, as well as blocking emergency vehicles and no parking any time. You know what would be interesting actually? I should have checked this on the other vehicle. If they don't have paid parking tickets, like say they have like five tickets and they're unpaid, I think some cities do tow your vehicle after a certain amount of tickets. So I should have checked that on those other vehicles too. Very, very cool. But anyway, let's go ahead and give him a citation. Um, I'm not, should we tow the vehicle? He's not like too bad. I really want to find somebody on a hydrant. I don't know. Should we tow it, guys? What do y'all think? But the uh, problem would be he is in a prohibited zone. He is parked in a no parking zone or a tollway zone. And a no parking any time zone would be the correct thing. So, yeah. We're going to charge him with that. Go ahead and submit that ticket. Should we tow him? I don't know. I All right, I'm just going to give them a citation. I really want to try to find somebody that's parked on a hydrant today, so I'm going to I'm going to keep looking for another victim. In New York City, there's been so many fires lately with people parked in front of the hydrants and it's really been like slowing down the fire response and stuff like that. So because of that, I'm really focused on trying to find a vehicle that is parked on a hydrant. So, let's see if we get lucky. He's in a no parking zone kind of there. Let's see what's happening over here. All 
Oh. Ah, oh, I thought that uh, I thought that yellow parking thing was a hydrant. I gotta have you for a second. He's too close to the curb. Alright, let's check out this vehicle here. Alright, they have a valid parking. Let's do a uh, parking history check. So they have two tickets. They are both paid. So the problem here, I'm going to give them a ticket for... Get over yourself. What is it? Parking... Okay, real distance. So he is parked within 20 feet of a crosswalk. On Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. He's about four to five feet away from the crosswalk, so we will be giving him a citation for that. Park within 20 feet of a uh, curb. And just that. I'm going to get that submitted. We are generating some revenue for the city of Los Santos today, guys. <laughs> Is that a parking spot over there? That's really close to that hydrant. It looks like it is a parking spot, though. Oh! I see a motorcycle on a hydrant, I think, over there. Can we tow a motorcycle, though? I got it to work once with this truck. I never did a video on it, but I got it to work. And then I tried to do it again, and then I couldn't get it to work, so... Now, let's see... So, I'm probably not going to be able to tow this, honestly, but we can give it a ticket. It doesn't even have a plate on it, actually. No plate? That's a problem. Let me see. It doesn't have anything. Let me see if I can see the VIN number, maybe. Okay, we found the VIN number. Let's run the VIN number. Target the vehicle license plate. plate. Zero 07 Adam George Ocean 419 ers a traffic violation. Ooh, Approach with caution. He has one unpaid ticket. Okay, just one for a hundred dollars, hundred sixty-five. See if they have any uh, parking. They do have the right parking stuff, but the problem is they're parked on a hydrant. So uh, we will give them a ticket for blocking a hydrant. Okay, so our search will continue, guys. We found a vehicle on a hydrant, but I mean, it's kind of tricky to tow. We could kind of tow it on here, but I'm going to do that in another video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to use this truck to tow some motorcycles. All right, the search continues. I'm really enjoying this plugin though because it's giving us something different to do, you know? So that's fun. Like, I'm just out here searching for vehicles right now. We got more cars in a uh, no parking zone there. Some of the no parking zones are a little silly. Like, it's literally like one spot. Like, you can't park here, but then you can park right next to it. So, some of them I'm not enforcing as much as others. Oh, I see a hydrant. Is that a hydrant? I think we got somebody, guys. And he just ran the red light. We got somebody. Let's go. We found our victim of the day. We're going to give them a citation. And we're going to block their car. I said not block. We're going to tow their car. Come on, light. Turn green. We got to go. That's pretty cool. Objects in the mirror close to the near pier. It actually says that. Well, that looks like the guy that we just gave a ticket to over there on that bike. Oh, there's two people parked on tickets on um, hydrants here, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh no. I thought the sign said do not block the uh, hydrant.
<laughs> the alarm's going off. That's funny. Alright, so we found our victim parked on the hydrant. We're going to go ahead and tow this thing away. We're going to give them a citation as well. All of these cars should even be parked here. This is a no parking zone. So let's start off with this one in here. Right, so they have a valid parking ticket, but they're still parking the hydrant, so no good. They have an $80 unpaid ticket, so we're going to give them a new ticket for being within 15 feet of the hydrant. I feel like this black car could get that ticket, too. And then 20 feet of crosswalk, nah, he's good at a crosswalk, so yeah, we'll give him that ticket there. And we will tow this vehicle. I'm going to ticket this black one, ticket that gray one, and I'm going to try to tow that other one over there too, because that one's blocking a hydrant. Is there another hydrant behind that Mustang over there, that um, Dominator? Alright, while we're here, let's just check this one. Ooh, not paid. He has one unpaid ticket. Okay, no, 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 okay. So we're going to give him a ticket for being within 15 feet of the hydrant. And I feel like he's too close to the crosswalk, too. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he's... I mean, he's not, but he is. So, you know what? I'll let him slide. We'll hit him for the hydrant. So we'll hit him for the hydrant. And then we'll also hit him for being parked in a no parking zone. Alright, so his ticket is $145. Now, let me clear this other car out of the uh, hydrant. And then we'll circle back and see if we can catch that other car, too. Oh! People attack you! Oh, shoot! This is lit! Oh, I need dispatch. I need a, a unit. I'm getting beat up. This guy's pissed. I gave him a ticket and he's chasing me right now, bro. Los Santos traffic. Oh, he's trying to fight me. Dispatch, I'm a. I just gave a guy a ticket, and he's he's trying to attack me right now. Help me, police officers. This is hilarious. I didn't even know that this could happen. All right, um, bro, he's trying to attack me, and now he's running. Now he's running from the cops. Oh, this is so cool. I'm gonna call him for some more backup. I did not know that was something that could happen. I love this call out. I will definitely be using this some more, this plugin. Dang it, I hope they catch him. Oh man, that was so cool. All right, well, uh, I guess we should get back to work. Uh, I don't want my truck or anything to despawn, but that was so cool, guys. Maybe we could drive over there and see if they catch him or not. That's how it is, though, with parking enforcement. People get pissed off. So that is 100% realistic right there. People get upset, and then they want to fight you. All right, so that Dominator is not on a ticket, but this uh, mess over there is on a, on a uh, hydrant. So we're going to go back and try to get that. How's the guy getting away? All right, we're responding. Dispatch, show a uh, tow one in or out. Cause, oh, 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 I can't turn. I can't turn. Sometimes they get a little glitchy back there. But yeah, show me in route, because they can't catch this guy, so I'm going to have to help them out. Oh, they lost him. No. How did they lose him? I think he was underground over here. Not underground, but on the lower part of this area. I see him, I see him. He's on the block over there. I see him. I see him. Go left. Go left. Uh, come on. No. All right. Well, they found them. I saw him over there, too. I don't know if you guys saw, but I saw him. We are responding. I can't even turn because my truck is so light that, like, my front wheels are not in the air. Oh, no. We lost them again. Oh, they found him. He's in a car. He stole a car, guys. 
I cannot believe we are in a pursuit. I'm calling in the air unit so they don't lose them again. And I'm gonna call in for some more backup. This is crazy, guys. And I'm towing somebody's car right now. That's the crazy thing. I gotta drop this car off somewhere. Alright, let's. I guess we're going to Davis. Let's drop this off at Davis and we're gonna try to catch up to the pursuit. I really wanna see what's going on with the pursuit, though. I feel like I have a vested entrance since the guy tried to attack me, so. Hopefully they get him. I'm gonna go to uh, Davis. I'm calling a spike unit. Maybe that would help them. Oh, he's too far away. Crap. Alright, so let's go drop this off and then we will uh, see if we can catch up to the pursuit. I'm just running all the lights right now. Ay, I can't turn, I can't turn. So yeah, I, I gotta make this truck heavier so I can handle more weight. The problem is basically the car I'm lifting up is heavier than mine and it looks like the game is gonna crash on me there. Oh man. Well guys, I enjoyed this so much. I feel like I'm gonna be doing this much more. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, you wanna see some more of this, definitely let me know by smashing that like button, leaving some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And don't forget guys, check out my website acepilot2k7.com on my website you guys will find all of the mods that i use as well as tutorials to install them mod lists of everything that i use um, merchandise if you want to get some merch and represent we also have exclusive videos for a scribers so if you want to sign up and become a scribe you get to watch some of my exclusive videos on my website so definitely check it out again it is acepilot2k7.com but thank you guys so much for watching i really do hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one Peace.